Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm your host MDT and today I'm going to show you how to create your own 3Shape design library just like the one I used in the Pac-Den design video. If you haven't seen that video, I'm going to leave a link in the description so you can watch it and you know what we're talking about today. You will also be able to download the DME that we're going to create today, but more about it later in the video, so be patient and keep watching. For everyone who is new to this channel, I'm posting new videos around mastering dental technology every Friday. So make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell to get updated on the latest content. So let's get started. After I posted the Pectin design video three weeks ago, I got so many questions from you guys in comment section, in emails and on Instagram about the library. Where can I get it? How did you make it? So I decided I'm going to create a video today so you can create your own Pectin design library and specify it exactly to your need. If you don't want to do this, you can download the DME files later. So how do you start creating a library? Every library starts as an analog mold, which gets scanned in to make a digital version out of it. In case you wonder now, hey, these are a lot of dice I have to do, don't worry. For this Pectin library, you only have to create eight different dice. Let me explain why. Some of the dice are getting reused and some of the dice are getting copied. For example, the first molar I'm using as a second molar and the last molar, but I'm also using the molar in the lower arch. So for the upper arch, you need one central, one lateral, one canine, one bicuspid, and one molar. For the lower arch, you need one incisor, one canine, and one first bicuspid. That are eight different dies. Of course, you can be more creative. You can create more. You can create a special die for the lower molar with five cusps. But remember, you put nice anatomically correct crowns on top of it. All you need is a little bit support for them so they don't fracture. So the easiest way to start with this library is to buy a set of preps from a company. I bought these preps from V8 products. And if you don't know V8 products, I left a link to their website and phone number in the description. These are really nice dies. They're made out of acrylic and the models are actually really nice too. They have a nice feel to them. I usually use them as demo models or for convention to show the work. The interior teeth are all really nice. I'm not so much of a fan of the posteriors because the occlusal anatomy is just too busy and too deep. But what you can do is you can take a carbide burr and grind it down or you just take some scanning wax and fill it up and scan it in. The second option is to buy a full contour set from V8 products. And what you do with a full contour set, you take a carbide burr and you shape your own prep out of this full contour tools. Of course, yes, that takes a little bit more time, but you get exactly what you want. And don't be afraid if you trim a little bit too much. You can always add wax to it and you can always reshape it with an instrument. The third option is to find a really nice prep case that an office sent you. You pick and choose the preps from each side. Then you can duplicate them in stone or in acrylic. You can reshape them with a carbide burr or with adding wax. I personally, I tried all of these three methods and I even created my own full contour library out of my own Teeth. So what I did, I took an impression, I separated each teeth, I added a little bit to the contact, scanned it in and made a full contour library. So you can do the same. It looks really pretty and it's a personalized library only from you. So let's get quickly through the entire process on how to create a prep library for a three shape pectin case. At the end, I will show you how to download the DME. I will also include the SDL files and the DCM files we're going to use in this video. So this is Mesh Mixer and the first thing I have to do, I have to import each SDL file. In this case, I have to remesh it because I want to adjust it and I don't like the big margin that this die. So what I'm going to do is I'm using the sculpting tool in surface mode 
and I'm smoothing out this fat margin there all around it. And then I position the die in the occlusal view and go to volume in the sculpting tool and select the plus 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 sign, hold the control key on the keyboard and take away and reduce the margin. I can also adjust the margin here a little bit to reshape it just to my liking. Also imperfections can be, be adjusted. And then I go back to the smoothing tool and smooth everything out. In the control panel, go to Smile Libraries and I'm adding a new one. So click on Add. In this case, I name it Pecton by MDT. Click on Edit Library Mode and then it comes up. I'm gonna click on this little tooth here to load the libraries and I have already loaded the upper T's, so now I'm going to the lowers. Like I said before, I'm using the lower molar that I used from the upper molar as well. So I have to use the boundaries here, and then I can adjust the tooth in the coordinate system, and that's pretty easy. Do it to the occlusal, facial, and proximal coordinates. You can adjust it here, and then I have to add some facial points. First, I'm gonna make the lower boundary, and then I have to align the facial, the lingual, and the groove points, as well as I, when I turn it around, the facial occlusal, the lingual occlusal, and the vestibular point. So I have to complete this task for every single tooth. So now I'm gonna click on the little tooth again, import the, the DCM file, in this case it's a canine, just to show you that there are less points, just the incisal points and the vestibular point. And that's it for the canine. And then I go back and now I can go and create the smile library. I have to select the library which we created, which is packed in by MDT and select all teeth because we're gonna make it as a full arch. Click on import teeth and go to the path where all these DCM files are. So the smile is getting loaded, and now I can adjust it. I usually use this green line and position all my teeth first. Like I can raise them, I can rotate them a little bit to make them just fit this line. Sometimes it's also helpful to import the Munson plane. It's imported by three shape, so you can adjust the curve of Spear and curve of Wilson properly. So I do only one side, because the other side I can mirror really easily with the mirror shape and position tool, just by clicking on each tooth and they're jumping right over. So I did the lower here, lower and upper arch are done. I click on next and now it's saving the library. I go and import export, go to export and only export the library packed in by MDT that I wanna use. So I hope you liked this video and you learned how to create your own library. If you like, give it a thumbs up. So as promised, now the instructions on how to get the DME files for this library. And I'm not only including the DME files, I'm also including the SDL and DCM files of this case that we just did. So you can experiment a little bit with it and you can create your own personalized library. So number one, subscribe to my channel. Number two, Give the video a thumbs up. And the most important one, number three, leave a note in the comment section, I want the DME. And I will do my best to get it to you as fast as possible. If you leave your email address as well, you'll probably get it faster. Until then, stay tuned.